Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to go for a blue icy look. I'm feeling really bold today so I think I'm just going to play around with it and see how it comes out. I already did my brows and as you guys can see I have a patch of eczema right here. So I already applied a bunch of moisturizers and I even used my medicated moisturizing lotion that my dermatologist prescribed to me in order to keep this eczema at bay. Because it's really cold in New York and I want to make sure that my eczema doesn't get out of hand, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier hydrating primer. I'm putting a lot because I really need it. For my shadow, I'm going to use my MAC Paint Primer as my base. And I'm like really liking this paint primer. And I might just stop being cheap and buy the actual container because I do see the difference. I'm going to be using my Sephora eyeshadow palette. I've had this palette for years and I just it just has every color possible so I just figured why not go in with this palette and I'm going to use a normal base this cream white but I have that creamy white base on I'm gonna go into my crease and use a blue I'm gonna be using my Anastasia a26 brush and I'm gonna be dipping into this blue right here that's the color. It's super pigmented. Okay guys, so here's that blue blended out. And I'm liking the color a lot. Yes, it's very bold, but that this look is going to be like golden blue goddess. So I'm ready for it. The next color I'm going to be going in with is this blue right here. It's a little darker than that first blue. And it has a tiny bit of sparkle and it's going to give some depth. And I'm going to add it only to my crease. color right there and I'm I'm going to go back in with that same Anastasia brush. I'm not going to dip it back in the shadow, but I'm just going to use it in the color that's already on the brush to buff the gray and the blue out at the top. So it's nice and mixed. Now I'm also going to go back into that tan color that I started with and use that as a buffer for the top of my brows. Naturally, you're gonna get some product on this brush as well. Now I'm gonna go into that eye again with my concealer brush. So I'm gonna go in with my NYX Ultra Pearl Mania shadow. And this is a super bold yellow and I'm hoping to give this look a, a little bit more of a pop with this. Look how pretty. Okay, I'm gonna like, look. Now I'm gonna put this yellow only at the start of my eye. Right here. That's 
blue, bright blue right here. And I'm gonna put that on this side of my lid. And I'm just gonna blend. I'm not gonna put any extra product. I'm legitimately just blending to get the colors to flow because right now they're not really flowing. It came out um, not the way I wanted, but I have a feeling that once I like put my foundation on and everything, that it's going to look better than it looks now. For my foundation, I'm going to mix the MAC Studio Waterweight Foundation in NC35 and my Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in the shade Caramel. I mixed these two last night, like just playing around. And it came out perfectly because Too Faced foundation is more creamy and thick and the water weight one for MAC is obviously like its name more of a liquidy thinner foundation. So I feel like it would have been a really good idea to mix the both of them. And I'm going to use my Sephora foundation brush and I'm just mixing them right on my arm. Really pretty color. Now for highlight, I'm going to go back in with this MAC Pepin Prime. And for contour, I'm going to use my LA Pro Girl Concealer in Beautiful Bronze. Or at least liquid contour. I like to do liquid and powder contour. I'm going to go over my face with my Too Faced baking powder, which would be called setting powder. But I'm hungry, so I'm thinking about baking. I'm just going to put that all over my face. I'm not going to put it on my eczema patch because this is meant to dry up any oils and I want oils to get on my eczema so it won't be patchy. <laughs> and I'm going to go I'm gonna in go into my MAC bronzing powder and I'm going to use this as my powder contour. This is what it looks like. Now I'm going to go in with my Glow Skin Beauty Press Foundation in Honey Medium. I'm going to use this as a highlighter. And I'm going to press it onto my skin. And once again, guys, I'm not put I'm trying not to put any makeup or at least powder on my eczema patch because I don't want it to be even more dry than what it already already, already is. Ardell Mega Volume Lashes. I used these in my last video, but I'm like obsessed with them. Like literally would not take them off for like three days until they started getting crusty on the edges. <laughs> then I had to peel them off. But this is what they look like if you didn't see my last video. And I'm just going to pop these on and be right back. Okay guys, so I popped my lashes on and they're super dramatic the way I like it. So I was looking at my Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit and I was like... Had a mischievous look in my face because this blue is legit everything. I kind of want to put this blue somewhere. Maybe I can pop it right here. Go into this color Luna and I'm going to use this as a highlighter too. I'm just going to put it right here on my cheekbone. But I'm not going to use a lot because it is blue and I'm not trying to go for like a blue. I'm not trying to look like blue man group. But I do want to finesse this color into my look. MAC Illuminator Highlighter in Oh Darling. 
which is a gold color and it's super pretty. Right here. Because this look is so dramatic, guys, I figured, like, I might as well go for a calm lip. Like, why do a lot? So I'm going to go in with my Kylie Cosmetics Gloss and So Cute, which is a very nude, creamy gloss. I'm just going to put it on just like this. This way, it'll tone the, the look down a little bit. My MAC Prep and Prime setting spray. Can you roll? And yeah, guys, this is it. I mean, it took me forever, but I finally got the look. And it is hot. Now, I really want to know what you guys think about this look. Is it something that you would rock? Is it? I want to show you the eyes, the final of the eyes. And, like, is this something that you guys will rock? Is it too much? Like, I want to know. Do you like seeing looks like this? Do you want to see more calm looks? It looks like I'm a little sweaty, but I'm not because I sprayed the setting spray too close to my face. So now my face is, like, pow. Um, I actually really like the look now. When I first started the shadow and everything, and I was just like, um, I look crazy. But now that, like, everything's blended and it came together, and I have, I think the nude lip really helped, too, because it was it's a really bold eye. So if I try to do, like, black lips or something... I'm gonna look like a psycho. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to keep pushing out content for you guys because like I really love this. Um, and let me know what next look I should do. I'm thinking I should do like a vampire dark look. Hmm. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching.